Okay, I think I'm live. My studio went in the way. <laughs> That'll have to do. So this is a completely um, non-planned video because I just realised that I forgot to make a video to tell you that there's a tutorial coming out on Friday. Today's Wednesday, I think. Let me double check. Yes, today is Wednesday, the 22nd of January. And I will have a video coming out on Friday. I'm just double checking. The 24th of January. But that may be a Thursday uh, evening for you. Or very early Friday morning. Depending on where you are in the world. But it's midday Australian time. That will be my new video. Hey everyone, hello, hello. Hey Sandy, hey Lucy, hey Terry, hey Dina. My comments are tiny on the screen, they never used to be that small. Whoa, that's a zoom in button. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Sorry if I just deafened you. What is it? What's going on? Ah! Okay, I'm not touching it now. <laughs> that was way too close. Hey Alicia, how are you? Hey Edna, Kirby. Oh, they're flicking past so quick I can hardly read. Denise, Donna, Sandra. Welcome everyone. Uh, this is just a video to let you know I will have a tutorial out on Friday. Today is Wednesday here. It is 12.55 p.m. So whatever time it was at your place an hour ago, that is when my tutorial will be coming out on Friday my time. So it'll be Thursday if you're in America, uh, Canada, over in that part of the world. It'll be a Thursday. So it'll probably be your evening. Hi, Leanne. How are you? Hey, Sandy. Lynn. Courtney. Yes, yeah, so a new tutorial. And some of you, if you've been on Instagram, I think I even shared this on youtube in a, in a photo i think i did uh this is the new tutorial you just let me grab it so this is using red heart super saver yarn and this is a 10 ply if you're australian if you're in the england it's it's a aaron weight yarn or if you're american it's a number four worsted weight you can use any yarn that you like. It doesn't need to be a worsted weight yarn. I also have one here that I've used a DK, which is a DK Australian or English. It's a eight ply Australian, or that will be a number three light worsted weight yarn if you're in America or Canada or people that use that type of terminology. So it's absolutely gorgeous. I have seven colors in this one and I had seven balls of red heart super saver not in this color obviously because that's fluoro green uh, i'm just having a look so it's red heart super saver it's a 10 ply like i said or a number four worsted weight it is a seven ounce or 198 grams and that works out to be 364 yards or 333 meters. I didn't use all of the yarn out of all the balls. So if you have seven colors, I want to say if you have three quarters of that amount of yarn for each color, that should be enough. But if you can get the whole 200, then that guarantees you won't run out. I've used, uh, what do you call them? Tassels or Tassels, yeah, tassels on this one. Um, but you don't have to, you can say in your ends. There, there wasn't really that many ends because, like that red one would only have two ends because, and I think that's three rows. One, two, yeah, that's three rows. So there's only two ends for those three rows. But hey, so that's that one. And then the one that I used when I designed the pattern uh, for this, this project, I actually wanted a woolen one so this one's acrylic but i actually wanted a woolen one because i just find that nice and warm for me so i just used up all my scraps this was not seven balls of one color of hang on 
It wasn't seven different colours or seven balls of yarn. This was pretty much just like little tiny pieces and, and bigger pieces of yarn. Um, you'll see here that, uh, where is it? You can see the in the middle of the screen there and up there. I didn't have much of that colour so I just, that's when I used it. So you can pretty much just mix it up when you want. I did the mesh different colours at the bottom there. You can see a grey row and then a creamish coloured row. And then as you come up here. Yeah, so you can you can put the colours any way you like. This is a combination of fiberific. So that pink there is fiberific. Uh, this dark grey is fiberific. And that white grey is fiberific. That's um, an Australian dyer, Chantel. If you follow her here on YouTube, she's fiberific on YouTube everywhere. And then this creamy coloured one with all the pretty speckles. This tealy coloured one. This blue with the yellows. I think it's got a little bit of pink in it. Uh, and a couple of the others are from Fiber Lily, also an Australian yarn dyer here. Oh, I'm on Facebook. I'm on YouTube. <laughs> She's on Facebook as Fiber Lily and also um, has her own website. So, yeah. But, yeah, so as you can see, you can just use any colour that you like. You can make this as wide as you like. This one is my wingspan. But this one has different type pom-poms. Leanne, I think we were talking about... Not pom-poms. Tassels. I think we were talking about these. I forgot to film this one. And did the other one, so I've got to film that too. Um, it won't be in the video, this this um, tassel on this one. I've got to film it separately, but hopefully that's my next one I film. So yeah, that one's really cool, and I've missed everyone's messages. I've got to say that I love this one because it's wool. It's nice and soft and lovely and warm, but I love the rainbows in the other one. Well, thank you everyone for your lovely comments. Hey everyone, hey Vicky, hey Cindy, hey Sarah, how are you? Yeah, I like making projects out of scrap too, um, Lena. They're, they're really good. So if you had a question or something, just pop it in again because I was not paying any attention to the comments. You're on my phone, so you're about this big. <laughs> and the comment section is only that high, so I can't see everyone. But when you're on the computer, it's uh, I have to stop leaning on the desk because it's making a weird noise. Do you like my t-shirt? I think that might be backwards. It says I'm a grouch. <laughs> it's so not true. Stop leaning on the counter. Hey Susan, loves the wool. Hey Sally, how are you? <coughs> so this live was not planned at all. It was just, I was um, going through comments on YouTube and thinking, what day is it today? And I went, oh, this is my first video back this year so I better let people know when it's coming out so I thought I'll just drop up, jump on and do a live it's it's so much easier for me to do a live because I don't have to edit which could be a bad thing <laughs> I don't have to edit and it literally just uploads itself to YouTube I don't have to do anything I just have to set up the live stream hey Karen thank you for the live stream you're very welcome hey Angel from oh. someone doesn't comment it the comments disappear it's really weird this is on my phone so it's completely different to being on the computer here we go they're back um <laughs> leanne's grouchy without coffee oh hey hey stephanie from it's crochet clock how are you hey rosemary how are you oh awesome it's clear and audio is superb it's probably because it's on my phone it's really good on my phone hey Christy from Alabama thanks for watching um, if, you, if you've been around for a while you remember the old days when we used to do the lives on my computer and everyone would complain about the plane going overhead but there wasn't any planes I think it was the fan in my computer that I couldn't hear like I literally couldn't hear it where I was sitting but everyone else could hear it and they're like oh there goes the plane again 
but yeah. Someone just got back from knitting live. Oh, it's Crochet Clock just got back from bird knitting live in New York City. Oh, that sounds so much fun. Cindy Hearts Crochet from Bama here to Christy. Cool. Donna says, love the live stream, you look great. Thanks. My hair's a bit feral. I washed it and um, yeah, it's just gone crazy. This is, I'm at home. I don't have to look good for anyone to do. <laughs> Except now I'm doing it live. <laughs> oh dear. Well, we've got 59 people watching and 38 thumbs up. If you can hit the thumbs up, I'd really, really appreciate that. Angel saying, I'm so happy you're back. Thank you. I'm happy I'm back too. Um, yeah. There's going to be a bit of a change up to my schedule. I may as well say it in here and then I was going to make a separate video, but I'll do that too in case people miss this video. This video will be uploaded to YouTube when after the live stream stops, but in case they don't want to watch the video, then they'll know because it's not in the title. I think this was something about a new pattern. Anyway. So I'm changing up my schedule. Not last year, the year before. Last year I had, I didn't work at all. So the year before that, I was doing one crochet tutorial every week. Now, that's a lot of work. One tutorial every week, plus around 350,000 back then, around 300 and something, 350,000 subscribers, which is fabulous and I'm not complaining. But when everyone's commenting on videos which is great it also becomes a lot of work so i found that i couldn't keep up I, and i was trying to keep up and we all know where that landed taking a year off so this year i am going to do a new schedule because i don't want to go back to that old schedule because it was miserable so i'm planning to do one crochet tutorial a month but if I'm having a good day and I'm on a roll and let's just say like that shawl took ages to film I, I made two so it made, took ages to film it and took ages to write the pattern it took a long time to um, I've already said film it it took me five days to edit the tutorial five days not completely sitting there nine to five but yeah working on it for five days just to edit so it took like probably three weeks all up just for that one tutorial so that means that you're only going to get one crochet tutorial a month because three weeks of the month have been spent on that one item so if i make a small thing say a hat which is not going to take me hours and hours to make it might take me an hour to make a hat and write the pattern up <clears throat> i'll take another an hour or so and then get it tested and edit it will take probably five six hours to do all the editing and everything um so that one hat pattern may only take me in total maybe a week maybe not even that long depends depends how involved it is so if i'm doing one of those a month that gives me way extra time. Way extra time, that was bad English. It gives me lots of extra time to get other things done. So what I'm saying is you're gonna get one a month, but you're hopefully gonna get a video of some sort every Friday, my time. It's gonna be yarn related. So it might be uh, something simple like my favorite stitch markers or my favorite crochet hooks my favorite project bags or um what else it might be a question i want to ask you guys uh there's, there's a video that i filmed the other day which was a question that in my head i'm going well i don't really know the answer to that so what does everyone else think about this question things like that so i don't know do you think that's okay <laughs> it's kind of too bad if you don't because that's what i'm planning <laughs> Oh, that's really I don't know why that was so funny so yeah so I still want to be here every week I just don't want the workload of crochet tutorials every week so you'll definitely get one a month 
and on the good times and if I'm making a smaller project you could you could get two so you'll get it like every two weeks or something but I think that's doable um, we've got much more subscribers now we've got uh, I haven't checked recently oh hang on I can check here I've got 393,000 subscribers. Ah, uh, wow, that is so awesome. So I've got much more subscribe, much more. I'm terrible at speaking, so we'll just go with that. Got a lot more subscribers, so it's a lot more work. So I think that with all that work, plus my personal life, like I have to do stuff like clean the house and wash up, and I've got a veggie patch that I love. Um, you know, making sure hubby's. <laughs> Not being ignored because I'm working too much. You know, all that stuff. So I just think that that is a schedule that I can handle. I don't want to get to the stage that I got to last time. I hated, hated. Okay, hate's a strong word. I really didn't like my job. And it was nothing to do with you guys, of course. It was the amount of stress that I was putting myself under because there's always so much work to do. And I was like, you have to do all this work. The world's not going to fall apart if I don't answer someone's question because they got stuck on a stitch. But I feel like I need to answer that question. You know what I mean? Like, if you're asking me a question, I have to answer it. But if I don't get back to it because it's so full on for a week or so, then... No, it wouldn't be a week. It'd be like a day or so. Then, then that's okay. It's okay. Everybody just stop and listen, or because no comments have been coming up. Oh, here we go. Oh, no, there has been comments. My phone has just been ignoring everyone. Okay, so everyone thinks it's a good plan. Hey, Natalie. Yes, I am keeping well, and the next tutorial is coming out this Friday, our time, so yay. Why is Stephanie You're probably already gone? Because my phone was ignoring everyone. I still use and love my Timo bag. You recommend it? Yes, I'm going to recommend that again because um, it's been quite a while since I did that. It's been at least a year since I did that video, so I'm going to recommend that again. And because I've been using it, it's actually just under the table. But I'm not getting it because it's absolutely covered in yarn balls. <laughs> but it's under the table and I used it for for the rainbow one. For this one that I just showed you. I used it for that and it worked perfectly because it had, like I said, seven colours. I can't remember how many little pockets it's got, but they all fitted in there. So it's obviously got seven. Yes, love that. So I'm going to do an updated review is what I'm trying to say. Sandra. Hey, Sandra. Do whatever you want is good for you. Uh, do whatever is good for you. Sounds good. Well, um, so I'm saying, where is the retreat? I need some more information. <laughs> you do you. Just take care of yourself. Are you the one that said that to Z to Zelda? Because I'm sure she said that this morning on her video I watched. I don't think the video came out this morning, but that's when I watched it. You do you. And it just, it rang bells. I was like, yeah, you do you. Because if you don't do you, it's going to be bad. Donna saying, sounds great. You, you're taking care of yourself, which is very important. I'm happy if you're happy. Thank you. Sandy's so saying it's in Molly Mook, New South Wales, Australia, close to Claire. I am missing something. I'm just scrolling back to Sandy's comments. Oh, here we go. Claire, are you planning to attend Joe and Paula's Healing Hands retreat? Uh, no, because I didn't know anything about it. <laughs> I will have to have a look after I get off you. Just making sure my, my phone is not going flat, thank goodness. Yeah, I do need to look after me first, hey, because if I don't, you know, you guys don't get any tutorials. Vicky's saying, I don't 
I didn't like being overwhelmed for something that should be fun. Well, I've took a break with Okay, thank you. Yes, that's all right. And I really enjoy it. And now I'm back. Um, I've just fallen in love with crochet all over again. I didn't crochet for, I would say, a good six months. Like, I might have picked up a crochet hook and made something small, but to actually regularly crochet, I didn't do it for ages. And it's not that I had lost my crojo, it was, it reminded me of work. And that was not my happy place. So I needed all things. <laughs> I just did other stuff. I found myself, it was really good. I didn't know who I was. I was Bob Wilson, now I'm, now I'm both. Very welcome, Maria. I love both of those shawls too. I think one is bigger than the other, like you said. I think the rainbow one is uh, a lot... Well, yes, it is. It's a lot... It's wider and it's also taller because one was using DK, which is an 8 ply or a number 3 white worsted weight. And, the, and I cannot remember what crochet hook I used. It was probably a H or a 5 mil crochet hook. And the... Actually, no, it was bigger than that. I think it was a six, which is H I, which is a J crochet hook, I think. Don't quote me. <laughs> I read the pattern a little while ago and I can't remember. And the, the big one, the rainbow coloured one, which is a worsted weight, which is a number four medium weight yarn, a 10 ply or an Aran weight, just to cover everyone around the world. Um, that was used with an eight millimeter, which I think is an L. HIJK. I think it's an L size crochet hook. Could be wrong. But that one came up heaps bigger because thicker yarn and bigger crochet hook. But you could you can seriously make it any size you want because uh, the the first foundation row that you do is in multiples of four plus whatever it is. So multiples of four, so it's like four, is that big enough? No. Is that big enough? No. Is that big enough? No. Is that big enough? Yes. So you could do a scarf. You can literally do a scarf and work your way up. Or you can go go to town and make a blanket and make your foundation chain huge. It is really up to you with that one. So it's awesome. Terry's saying, don't put yourself under pressure with tutorials. You have so many on your channel. <laughs> now we can go through them and find something to keep us busy while we're waiting for the new ones. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I really do. Courtney says, I miss your painted nails. They're so pretty. And you said you didn't want to paint them anymore because of negative comments someone made. There were so many negative comments about me wearing nail polish. Now I, I'm just too lazy. <laughs> And I just keep them short because I work a lot in my veggie patch, so there's dirt and God knows what under there. And um, yeah, I just keep them short now. I was watching a video actually just before replying to someone's comment, and my nails are really long. Like they were just natural, but they were really long. And I'm thinking, they must have been before I had a veggie patch. <laughs> Uh, Elizabeth Humphrey is, is, has a very good point. It says, don't worry, most of us can't keep up with a project a week either. Exactly. Exactly. Now, you understand how much pressure it is. You have to crochet that thing. You have to... Well, first of all, you've got to design it. You've got to crochet it. You've got to write up a pattern, get it tested, edit it. Am I missing anything? And then promote it. No wonder I had a breakdown. <laughs> Terry's saying, I've been using your video play this the whole time you were on your break. Thank you so, so much, everyone. Thank you, Terry. Sandra's made heaps of the double crochet and shell blankets. It's a go-to pat pattern. I'm just sc scrolling through the comments because they're just, there's so many now. Thank you, everyone. Yep, forget the negative Nellies. They don't matter. No, they don't. I, 
I have to stop waiting on that desk. Could you hear that noise? It's it's annoying me, so it's probably annoying you. I have four bro projects going now. That's from Jennifer. Oh, I've lost count how many <laughs> I've got going. Hey, I think it was Evelyn that just my screen just went off. Yeah, Evelyn. Greetings, what are we doing tonight? We're just talking about crochet and new schedules that I've got. Right, I don't know, none of us like negative people. Not enough time for that. I really don't. Really, really don't. My screen keeps going off, silly phone. Claire, do what works for you. Yay! Thank you. I knew you guys would understand. Oh, someone's texting. Who's texting me? Apparently I need to get my eyes tested. <laughs> that was from where I get my eye, my glasses from. Texted me. <sighs> yeah, so you'll definitely get one crochet tutorial a month. Which is not many. It almost doesn't sound enough. But I plan to like do little mini, almost like mini tutorials. Some of my tutorials are quite long. They're about an hour or so long, so it'd be nice to get some quick ones done. Do you have a lot of square motives? I l I'm in love with squares. Yes, I do. If you go to my channel, um, if you're watching this on a computer, just click on Bob Wilson. It'll be underneath the video. If you're on, if you're on this chat, I don't know how to do that, but just go to my channel. Go to my, uh, go to the, so go to my channel. Up the top, it'll have home something something. I'm just checking. Just check on my computer. It'll say home videos, playlists, community, blah blah blah. Oh, apparently we're live right now too. So click on the playlists and then go to. There'll be one called Granny Squares. They're all in there. Lots and lots and lots. Yeah, really cool. Uh, Karen is from Kans Can blah, blah, blah. Kansas City. So glad to see you. Isn't that where Dorothy's from? Kansas City. My sister still is, and so I am, but well, not as much as what she was when we were kids. Huge fan of the Wizard of Oz. So cute. And I like the second one too. I love TikTok. I would like to have TikTok as my as a pet. Well, not a pet. It's not really an animal, but as my friend. And I have this. Um, if you've seen the second Wizard of Oz, I have this metal bowl that I use in the kitchen, like for salad or mi mixing a cake or whatever. Every time I look at it, it reminds me of TikTok's helmet. <laughs> it's the same shape. <laughs> it's a different colour, but. That's what I always think of. <clears throat> Just got to bring the comments back up. Ooh, apparently it's cold and snowy in South Dakota. It is hot here. Uh, is it hot? Mm, it's about, I think it's about 28 Celsius, which, I don't know, that would be probably 90 degrees. I actually don't have a clue. <laughs> I'm gonna Google it. I did 28 C in Fahrenheit. 82 degrees. So I was just warm here today. Deb's finished the neck warmer beanie and my friend loves it. Awesome! That's so good. I think I replied to your comment. It could have been someone else, but I replied to your comment on YouTube about it. Or you've commented, I don't know. It's all blurred. It all blurs into one. I've been working on the Christmas Eve castle project and I think I'm going to make a pillow. Oh, Tracy, that would be so cool. The pillow would be awesome. I actually want to make one too, but you know, finding the time and all that. I'm going to just type in minus six. That's minus 21 Celsius. How are you surviving that? Is that normal? It does not get any colder than, I would say, minus four. Let me, I'll tell you what that is in Fahrenheit. Oh, this is overnight, not during the day. 24.8 degrees. 
And some of you are probably laughing going, that's not cold. <laughs> it is when you're a wuss. Alrighty everyone, so it's minus three. Oh gosh. That's so that's so cold. No thanks. <laughs> Brenda, I love your accent. Some people say I have one too. I live in Colorado and am and am from the south. I hope I never lose it. I cannot believe someone said something negative about wearing nail polish. Oh yeah. All the time. I'm used to it now. The the fake nails though, they were hideous. I thought they were awesome at the time, but personally, back at those videos, all I can see is fingernails. <laughs> Cringeworthy. Everyone's got an accent, but you just can't hear it. Donnie's saying, where am I? I am in Australia, Sydney. Just a few hours out of Sydney. Oh, Chris, Christian. Hang on. Christian? probably butchered your name learned crochet from me eight years ago it was a teal ribbed baby booty goodness me that was so long ago thanks for following me for all this time <clears throat> carol says just finish make just finished making several of your beanie hats where you slip the chain through and i love it the hats look so much neater thank you yeah i, I still make my hats like that it is a great pattern thank you ian and I think that means Ian and Carrie. Thank you. <laughs> hey Megan, welcome to your first live. These are lives are fun. I don't do enough of them. Maybe one of my weekly videos. That's probably a good idea. One of my weekly videos could be could be a live video. I think that would be cool fun. I could do it on my phone, it's just that when there's so many people, I cannot keep up with the comments. It's really frustrating. But then when I'm on my computer, people keep telling me there's a plane going over. We'll see what happens. Honey Yarn says, you were my first YouTuber over 10 years ago. You know what? It would have been over 10 years ago. Hang on. Oh, what is it now? Oh. <gasps> In February, 22nd of February, it's 11 years. We totally missed the 10 year anniversary because I wasn't working. We may have to have a delayed party. Live crochet, that'd be fun, wouldn't it? I've got a crochet hook, that is the only one I can see right now. This is the crochet hook that I used for my rainbow colored <clears throat> shawl that I just showed before it's just plastic cheap I've got two of them I have no idea where I got them from it's a pony brand probably an Australian big double d bleh, big W store I would say that brand anyway I'm actually gonna go because I have how many questions do I need to get, uh, comments I have 74 comments to get back to I've already done about 30. So, yay me. But yeah, thank you for everybody for hopping on at absolutely no notice. Would a cable crochet project be something you would consider for a tutorial? I have... I think I have three cable projects. I have a blanket, so you can make a... I actually made a scarf in the tutorial but you can use it to make a blanket uh, I can't remember what it's called and then I have two hats that have cables in them one let me just I can't multitask I just need to type that in uh, so it's called so the the scarf is called cable scarf or chunky blanket tutorial you could probably use that to make a wrap too if you really wanted to um, Yes, that's that one. And then the other one, there's actually a one I did years ago, six years ago. Uh, the Fake Cable Gloves by Crochet Dreams. How do you say F-A-U-X? Is, is it Forks or is it Fake? Faux. 
I think it's faux. I not speak good English. <laughs> and it's my only language. Uh, so then the hat is called the Cassiopeia Cable Stitch Hat, which was designed in memory of a friend. And we've got the Linda's Cable Stitch Hat, which was designed in memory of my mum. Yeah. And the Cassiopeia Cable Stitch Hat is the, my friend who taught me how to do cable crochet because I was petrified of them for years and years and we call it Cassie Cassie came down and um like for she's come down to stay oh it was my hen's day we had like a uh like a high tea um what do you call it like picnic -y type thing rather than a go out and get drunk type thing um yeah so she came down for that and she said I'm gonna teach you how to make crochet cables and I was like okay Anyway, so she taught me, and I was like, is that it? Is that all it is? Why can I have just not pick it up? I couldn't get it from video tutorials. But once she showed me what to do, and then watched me do it, and said, no, that's wrong, or yep, that's all right, I got it. And that's why that hat is called Cassiopeia Cable Hat, because she's the one that taught me how to do it. Hey Laurie, thank you so much. Okay, yep, so I thought it's faux. Right. Now I won't sound like a complete moron when I say the word faux. Christian says, we love you in my house. My kids love all that I make for them from your videos. They are seven and nine. Hey kids, if you're awake. All right, so I have to go now. Thank you everyone for joining me. We now have 71 people and 80 thumbs up. So we actually have more thumbs up than viewers, which is great. I hope you enjoy the rest of your week. Stay tuned for a video tutorial, which if you've only just joined us, is for this beauty and if you've missed all the details you can go back to go back and watch this video on the replay um, seven colors red heart super saver you can make it in any yarn that you like or thickness for that matter because it gives you a multiple and you can make it as wide as you want and then you crochet your rows and you just keep going it's got a repeat in it so <clears throat> You can you can stop anywhere in the repeat. You don't have to complete the whole complete the whole repeat. That's a mouthful. You could stop anywhere you like. But if you're that person that has to do all the repeat, then you can do as many as you like. It's really up to you. And I cannot wait to see people's versions because I think it's a great pattern. And you can use it to make a scarf, blanket, or wrap. I've made two wraps because I don't I do not need another crochet blanket. And I don't really wear scarves, so all right, I think that's all. Where's my comments gone? Hey, Veronica. All right, thank you everyone for joining us. I hope you have a fantastic week. Tutorial, I think I was going to say that before. Did I even finish my sentence? Probably not because I'm hopeless like that. Tutorial will be out, tutorial will be out on Friday my time at 12 o'clock p.m. So it is now 1.30. So if you take an hour and a half off what time it is there at your house, that's what time my video will come out. It'll be a Friday for me. It's currently Wednesday here. So if, it is, if it's Tuesday where you are watching at the moment, um, it'll be that time on, that, on a Tuesday. No, it won't be. It'll be that time, so an hour and a half ago, on a Thursday, if right now it is Tuesday at your house. I think that's how it works. Anyway, you'll get a notification if you sign up for notifications. If you haven't, go and click the bell. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. And I will see you when I see you. Thanks for joining, everyone. Happy crochet. Bye.